Hello, this is Rowan with Far From Standard Tutoring. Today we'll be exploring the chain rule. Ugh. Not those chains, John. Oh, no. They're for the next video. Just kidding. So, anyways, the chain rule, this is the formal definition of the chain rule that the derivative of this bad boy is this guy. Now, rather than thinking of what the formal rule is every time, let's just sort of get intuitive with them. So, we'll be looking at something that we call here at FFS the inside function. So, let's say you have uh, x plus 10 to the fifth power. What's the derivative of that guy? Rather than expanding that whole thing out and then using the power rule, you can simply say 5 x plus 10 to the fourth power. Notice this is sort of just like the power rule. Now, in this case, the inside function is x plus 10. The outside function is something to the fifth power. So smiley face to the fifth power, you can think of it that way. That's the outside function. So the way to do it is you first take the derivative of the outside function. So the derivative of smiley face to the fifth power is 5 smiley face to the fourth power. Now here's what the chain rule really means. What you have to do after this is multiply it by the derivative of the inside function. So now we're going to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. What did we say the inside function was? x plus 10. So the derivative of x plus 10 is just 1. So this will just really be this. So you do that every time, if you think about it. If you ask what the derivative of x to the 10th power is, and we say 10x to the 9th power, you're still at the end multiplying by the derivative of the inside function, which in this case is just x, so 1. That's why you get 10x to the 9th. So let's look at a few examples. Uh, hopefully this clarifies things. The derivative of this bad boy over here, 4x2 plus 4 to the 9th power, will be, let's see, 9 smiley face to the 8th power. And we can just fill that in over here. 4x cubed plus 4. Now we multiply by the derivative of the inside function, which is 12x squared. This is the answer. That's how easy it is. Now you don't have to multiply that ninth power out. You don't have to foil it out. Now let's look at this guy. Now we learned in the previous video that log functions, their derivative is just derivative of this guy divided by, uh, uh, divided by the what, whatever is inside. So here, uh, the derivative of this guy is 15x squared divided by whatever is inside. So 5x cubed plus 1. So that's the derivative of this guy. Now let's look at the derivative of this really, really ugly looking problem. Cosine cubed of sine of 3x cubed. Well, we'll just take this step by step. So one useful thing is to rewrite this sort of like this. It just helps you visualize things better. So now keep in mind, the outside function is something cubed, and the inside function is, well, this guy. So how are we going to solve this? 3, that's something squared, because that's how we find the derivative of something cubed. So for now, we're just going to fill in cosine of sine of 3x cubed. And now what do we do? We multiply by the derivative of this guy. So that's what we're doing. The goal, all we have to do now, is multiply by the derivative of this. So now what's the derivative of cosine of anything? Well, the derivative of cosine of anything, notice that this in and of itself has an inside function. Now the inside function here is sine of 3x cubed. So the derivative of cosine of anything is negative sine of that something times that guy's derivative. So what guy do we have in here? Sine of 3x cubed. And now again, we want to multiply by the derivative of sine of 3x cubed. So the derivative of sine of 3x cubed, again, notice we have to use the chain rule again because this, the inside function now is 3x cubed. So the derivative of sine of anything is cosine of that something, again, times its derivative. So cosine of whatever is in there times its derivative. So 3x cubed times 9x squared, because that's the derivative of the inside function. So this is the chain rule. It looks really complicated at first, but if you take it step by step, keep the rules of the inside function in mind, then it shouldn't be too difficult. I hope you enjoyed this video, and good luck.